And quick and deadly, as always. <sighs> Take the van. Wait. Something's not right. Titan. So the Darmax finally grew tired of being slaughtered. Look who's here to greet the bastard. Come on. to die here, Wyvern. Move! Wyvern! Let's start again from the beginning. Come, show me your form. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm. Once 
morphs. Very good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the thing be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the Phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. Come, Clive! Rain fire down upon me! Show me the Phoenix did not bless you for naught. that burns within you. Well done. You wield the Firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. Let's see if you can elude my blade. After all, your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. On your toes, Lord Rossfield. that. I was sure I had you. That was amazing. Oh, to be so young and fleet of foot. Not quite. Good. Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix, granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on me. Well, I'm waiting. Lie at your foe before he can raise his guard. Are you not blessed by the fiends? Then prove it. Impressive. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. That's better. Battle is a success.